This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, as you guys know that like now this is a first session for Java full stack, and in the demo session I have explained what are the things we are going to cover. Uh, like now, uh, one thing like now basic uh, things will will set the ground rules. When you don't, when you connect the meeting, please go on mute. If you have any questions at any point of time, unmute yourself and you can ask the questions. Yeah. And to make this session as an interactive session so that like, you, know, you can ask the questions. And so, I mean, I mean, like, make it as more interactive. It's, since it's an online class, it's easy to, you will know, you will lose the, uh, like, no, you will, you will, you will, you will not be able to concentrate. Like when you are asking the questions and when you when you are attentive, so that you can you can get the concepts clear. Okay, so here the the first day, what we are going to do that here is first we'll we'll do the dev environment ready. Okay, so dev environment will make it ready. So in, when you take the Java Java developer, the first thing is we require a JDK. And uh, we require one ID. So this ID could be anything. You can take the either IntelliJ or maybe Eclipse. There are a lot of IDs are available. We would be using the one of the IDs, the IntelliJ, we are going to use it. And then we require a Git. And another one is we require a, a Maven. Okay. These are the main uh, tools we required in order to learn the code Java. Uh, when you are learning the code Java, uh, we required these are the things needs to be set up in your machine. JDK, IDE, JIT, and Maven. So uh, when you are going to the advanced concepts, we will see that what are the other things is required. We will be installing that here. So the prerequisite for uh, like you not know, to get start with the Java sessions, these are the things we need to do the first setup. Okay, I would ask somebody like you no, know, if your uh, machine is not installed any of these softwares, you can share the screen. And I'll show you that like you now how to install and uh, how we are going to do the setup. Uh, can can someone please? If if already your machine is not installed with these tools, like you now we will get familiar with the how to install JDK, ID, Git, Maven, and ensure that your internet you have a good internet connection. So that I will make you as a presenter. You can install in your machine, and others can others can be watching that. Anyone? Okay. Uh, because already in my machine, it has the setup has been done. So there is uh, like no, I, I have to uninstall and install. Instead of that, if somebody voluntarily tell that like no, I will I will instruct you like no how to install so others can watch that. Anyone? Cool. Okay. Uh, the first thing is so uh, we are going to oh uh, yeah we can uh, so you might have you might have connected from the mobile. That's the reason you might be not responding. That's okay. So first we are going uh, to install the. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, I could have volunteered to help you, sir, but the thing is, I already installed everything. <laughs> you have installed everything. Yeah, uh, uh, and it's working. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, no, what is happening? You're using the Mac. Okay. Yeah. So any, yeah. anyone has a Windows and uh, not installed anything? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll show you that. That's okay. Don't worry. Um, here, when you are taking your row, first we are we need to download the JDK. The JDK is the latest version now in, um, uh, in 
like no current latest version is a 20. We can go to the this is a website. Okay, let me go to that website and when we are going to download the JDK. Let me copy this here. This notes will be shared with you. This is a JDK. Uh, if you visit this here, it is going to tell you that what is the latest version, JDK 17 or JDK 20. Suppose you have a doubt, like now whether JDK is installed in your machine or not, in order to check that, you type the here Java iPhone version. If you are getting the Java version, it's already installed in your machine. If not, if not, we need to install the, now I have a JDK, Java version 20. It's already installed uh, in my machine. Okay. So if you want to install that here, you can choose the what is the operating system you are going to use it. Either you are using the Windows or uh, uh, Linux or Mac. And I'm going with the Windows. And you can you can download the the installer, 64-bit installer. We are going to download. Okay. So once you you install that, once you download that here, yes, you follow the installation of instructions like the installation wizard you follow that there is nothing to do uh, it is going to create a one folder in your c drive or wherever you want you can create that here so in my case so uh, uh, it is created the in c drive there is a program files and there is a folder name called the java and this is a place where it is going to create a jdk is the one folder it's going to create jdk is the one folder it is going to create it here where uh, uh, what other things it's required to run your applications to uh, like you know, to develop the Java applications? What are the tools are required? Everything will be copied into the this is the directory it is going to copy and it is going to be installed. Okay. Once it is open here, let me show in folder. I'm going to click on this here MSI file. Okay, it's a preparing installation. Now it is saying that here, welcome to Java installation. And here it is already I have a JDK 20. Okay, this is this is going to say that here, hey, you already have the, the latest version. Or what it says that just we'll see that. it is updating okay now my jdk setup is done so there is nothing to do here just you can close this that's it that's all the installation of the jdk once you have done that here now to ensure that whether my jdk is working or not you open the command prompt just type the java iphone version so it is going to say that what is the jdk version and Java C, you type it here, Java compiler, and you type the Java. So these three commands, if it's a response, that means your JDK environment set properly. Okay, you have installed in your machine, JDK is installed. Now to execute the, your first Hello World example in Java, to ensure that the things are working and my Java compiler, and Java C stands for the Java compiler. Your main things is your, when you, when you take the JDK, and there is something called the JRE, and we'll use the command called the Java C, and we'll use the Java. What is this? JDK is the Java Development Kit, Java Runtime Environment, and Java C stands for the Java Compiler, and then Java stands for the Java Interpreter. Now, what happens is here, you know, whenever you write any Java program, you are going to create a one notepad or uh, any editor. You will create a your uh, Java program with the your class name dot. So just we'll say that as a hello world dot Java, and you would be writing the your code here right now. So there is a some public class, and you will be saying it as a hello world, and here you are going to write a main method. So public static void main string class we are going to say that here, and you would be printing the something here from that system.out.println, you would be printing the welcome to Java world. Java world, you are going to say that here. Now here, what are the program you have written? It's like a, you have written in like English. This program has to be 
and it, it has to be understand by the your operating system like no what what happens internally let me explain this here now here your operating system you are you are running this is your operating system let's take it as the my operating system is a windows okay my operating system is a windows now my windows operating system needs to understand what are the thing instructions i have written but this is a written in a high level language which the windows will not will not be able to understand or my or my or microprocessor will not able to understand on top of that we are going to install the a jdk environment we are going to install here like no here in a windows we are going to install the in our operating system we are installing the there is a something called the jre java runtime environment we are going to install on top of the your operating system there is a something called the jre now here this high level code we want to convert into the what mission can understand so that's a place where we are going to use the compilers the job of the compilers is what high level code it has to be translated into the what mission can understand so now when i do this compilation in case of the java when i do this java c compile we are going to say it as a hello world dot java hello world dot java when i do this here this program is going to compile if there is any syntax error it is going to check that if everything is fine then it is generates the a dot class file hello world dot dot class file it is going to generate here this dot class file contains the byte code this byte code are byte codes are specific to the jre this is a specific to the jre so what are the code you have written here what are the code the java compiler generates only it will be understood by the jre in order to run this program we have to start the java runtime environment for that we use the command called the java hello world view the same that yeah we will not give any class or anything so in order to compile your program you will use the java c in order to run the program we use the java we are going to use now here this java compiler is a part of the jdk java compiler is a part of the jdk so what is the job of the compiler is to translate high level language into the what mission understandable language we use the compilers now whether my compiler is working or not like now what are the environment what are the installation we have done whether things is working or not we want to test that i'll create a one directory mkdir make a directory just we'll say that as a sample uh, or we can say it as a uh, java underscore ws underscore just we'll say that here then something i'm going to create a one folder pd java underscore ws underscore demo i'm 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 in this directory here we are going to create a one uh, notepad i'm going to open here it is i can say that as a notepad this is going to open the notepad and here i'm going to type a my java program what is my java program i'm writing here public class hello world this is a class and here we are going to write our main method public static void main string dot 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 box we are going to say that as well this is what we are going to say that here and open this and what are the message you want to print it here you would be printing it as a system dot out dot println welcome to java world okay welcome to java world we are going to say that back i have written this program i have to save this program with the dot java extension the same like now the file name should be the same control s i am going to use it here and here we created in you know, a c drive okay we created a c drive okay here there is a users under the lwl and here we are going to java underscore ws underscore demo that's a folder name java underscore ws underscore demo and here we are going to give this file name as a hello world dot java we are going to give it here now this program will be saved with the hello world dot java and i'm going to save it here. now i'm going to compile this program suppose if i'm looking at the ls no not ls var you can see here we have only one file in that var is using for the to list the directories okay, let me clear this clear no 
PLX. I'm going to clear this here. BAR. If you look at here, there is a hello world, only one, one file you can see in this directory. If I'm compiling this here, Java C, hello world.java, this is going to compile. The, if the, the compilation is successful, if I click on BIR, it is generated the one dot plus file. This dot plus file contains the bytecode instructions. In order to see that, in order to execute this, we use the command called the Java. Hello world, we are going to use it. So, which is a printing the welcome to Java world is printing here. That means my Java setup is proper. There is no issues. I can use the Java C command. I can use the the Java command. Okay. Java command, I can use it here. Now, this is what you can ensure that whether your Java is, uh, the installation is proper or not. To ensure the things, you would be writing the hello world example. Now we are done with this. So, the first thing is what we are doing here is we are going to install the JDK. Then you, in order to check that here, what is the JDK version you are using here, you can use the Java minus V. And then, you write a, you create a one Java program, create a Java program, and then you second step is you compile that, compile by by using the Java C, and here you are going to give the, the file name called Java. We are going to use it here. File name is what is the name you have given? That's the same name you have used it here. Once the compilation is successful, to run. Uh, uh, to run now uh, uh, Java to run dot plus file okay, to run the dot plus file you will be using the command called the Java yes you will use the, the file name okay you are going to use the file name without any extension without any extension you are going to use it here without any extension just you would be using the okay you would be using the uh, just you are you are going to use the Java Java, we are going to use it here. This is the file name you will be using here. How? This is what the basic steps you have done here. Like now, you are using the IDE. One uh, editor, we are going to use it here. Sorry, not IDE. One editor. This is the editor we are taking here is a notepad. And you have written your program. And once you have written this program, you are, you are going to compile and you are going to run this application. This one. Like how internally Java works is, let me take a, a simple example, our Oracle tutorial. So this is one of the best place where whenever you have some doubts, you can clarify uh, doubts with the, uh, from this like now official site. Okay, uh, what about Java technology, like how this is going to work here. This is what, first you are going to write a my Java program and you are going to compile which will generate a dot class file. And this dot class file we are going to give to the JVM, Java Runtime Environment, uh, Java Virtual Machine, and which will be executing on your operating system. Like you are writing a Java program, you are compiling it here, and the compiled code we are going to uh, give to the JVM by using the command called the Java command. And what are the, the dot class file instructions it is going to convert into the underlying operating system instructions it is going to convert and it is going to run back here. So once you compile your Java program, you can run it on any operating system. This feature we call it as a compile once, run anywhere. Compile once and run anywhere, or we can say it as a platform independent. Java is a platform independent. Like now, if you take the other programming languages, whenever you compile your code, it is going to generate it executable files it is going to generate those executable files are specific to the operating system so that whenever you want to run the same code in other operating systems again you have to uh, recompile that so in case of the java we need not to do that so first you compile once once you generate a dot class files those dot class files can can run on any operating system wherever jvm is present this behavior we call it as a platform independent so this is a way you can ensure that JDK installation and it is working fine. So for any questions, guys, anyone has any questions or doubts here?
Shall I go ahead? Please, can someone respond, please? Should JVM be installed on each operating system? Yeah, JVM, like now, the moment you install the JDK, it is going to install the uh, JVM. So it, this is going to install the two things. One is the JDK and the JRE. JRE internally consists of the JVM. Yeah, explicitly we will not install the JVM. We will install the JRE. JRE internally contains the JVM. Is this clear? Yeah. Okay. Now here the problem is here. To execute your program, your you to write your program, you are opening the notepad and we are going to type that. To compile your program, we went to the command prompt and we are compiling that here. If there is any compilation error, we'll pick we'll go back to the notepad and we'll be fixing that. And moreover, writing in the notepad, the this is a very simple program, you can write it here. Sometimes the program may go uh, like now thousands of lines. You cannot write the thousands of lines in a no. You can write, but the the if there is any error, so the notepads are not going to give you the any key assistant. And uh, another thing is, if there is any compilation errors, if we make that, it won't highlight that. The other one is navigating to the particular line number. It's a very difficult in a notepad. To avoid this, we can use the something called the IDE. We can use the something called the IDE. IDE stands for the Integrated Development Environment. Okay, if you take the IDE, so this is the IDE is uh, stands for the Integrated Development Environment, where, like, you now what are the project you are going to develop? The necessary tools and everything you you can see in that perspective. So the most widely used IDEs are one is a JetBrains so IntelliJ IDE. Another one is Eclipse. And then there is something called the Spring Tool Suite. So these are the three things most widely used one. And in our sessions, we are going to use the, we are going to use the IntelliJ, we are going to use it here. And that is a community edition, we are going to use it here. Let me copy this here. This is the IDE, we are going to use it here. There's a community edition we are going to use it here. So uh, just you can download the, the community edition. So it is also executable file, depends on the what operating system you are using. You can choose that here. I'm using the Windows, so I can download this here. They are saying that like no, this is going to download the Intel JID, it is going to download. Okay, already I installed. Like, uh, let me see that here, whether it is going to update. And uh, what it does that, just we'll see that here. It's a 633 MB, it's a big file. I think I have a 2023 only I have latest version only I have. Let's see how how what it is going to do this. Okay. okay, this setup is only we are going to do once. Like no, so going forward, we will not worry about this thing. Okay. 
get this ID. Just we are going to click on this. Probably it may take a little time. Exactly. Yeah. So then click next. And here it is uh, selecting the uh, do you want uninstalled edition? Do you want uninstalled? Yeah, uninstall and silently and settings configured from older versions not, not to be deleted. Okay. So this is what we are going to select it here. Settings and configurations from old versions will not be deleted. Okay, let it delete everything. Then click next. So I'm going to delete everything, go whatever the things it was there. And I'm doing the first uninstallation of the existing one. Then we'll install the, the new version we are going to install. It's, it's taking a little while, that's okay. Meanwhile, we'll discuss about the something else. Okay, the next one is a JIT. Okay, this is a JIT. Uh, let me give the significance of the, uh, the JIT and where we are going to use it here. When you are working on the projects, when you are working on the projects, the people will be sitting in a different corners. Like now, the team will be working from the different locations, the different continents, you can say that here. And they should have the common place where they can uh, they can they can they can put the their changes. And whenever a uh, new person like you now he, he is uh, uh, he is going to work on the, some other module, so he is going to push his changes. You know, there, there should be a common place where you can uh, uh, you you can put the source code and you can work in you know, collaboratively. You can work with them. in order to maintain this version of the your uh, source code. What are the source code we are going to create it here? What are the source code you have? This source code we need to maintain the versions right now. So the day one you might have added the some some things you added, and the next day you might have went and you fixed the something. And this has to be keep track of that. Each version it has to be keep track of that here. To maintain the version of the your source code, we use the something called the JIT. We are going to use it here. And in order to work in a, a collaborative and you want to make it to this git uh, accessible cloud and you want to access by everybody who are the, your team members we would be using the cloud service called the github github or bitbucket bitbucket we are going to use it here okay, these are the two most widely used the cloud service providers one is a github another one is a bitbucket one is a github and another one is a bitbucket so the person who joins the organization immediately you will be giving the one uh, uh, user id and password user id and password will be shared with you and by using this uh, user id and password you can access the the projects which are uh, you are you are working on or which you are allocated uh, like now so by using this user id and you can go and the clone the projects and you cloning the project is nothing but the, you are going to get the from the remote you are going to get the the source code to the, your local machine you will make the changes and you are going to push those changes to the your remote branch you are going to do that here in order to do all these things we will be using the git piece of protocol we are going to use it here and by using the git command you can work with the either git git github or you can work with the bitbucket what is this git is it is a the the source code version controlling uh, uh, system you can say that here this is going to maintain the 
the version control of the, your, your source code. And if in order to use the cloud service, you would be using the either GitHub or Bitbucket, we are going to use it here. So another next important thing is, okay, now it has in, uninstalled. Now I'm going to install that here. It is taking the around 2.9 GB it is taking here. Ensure that you have that enough space. Okay, install the IDE community edition, add to the path. Like now, what are the things it is there? Uh, just I'm going to add it here. These three things, community edition, desktop, creating the desktop icon and adding to the path. Okay, adding to the path and uh, then open uh, uh, folder as a project. These are the things just I'm, I'm adding. Then click next, install. I'm going to install this here, Intel GID. Okay. Let it happen. Yeah, I want to manually reboot later. I'm going to say that. Now here my IntelliJ ID is installed. Like now you can type the IntelliJ IDE community edition. You are going to click on this here. The moment you click on this here, this is going to open the this is what. Then you you can choose the one of we can choose the one of the workspace. We can choose that here. One of the directory as a, your workspace directory. This is what it, it is open and it is asking me, hey, do you want to open the any of these projects? Like no, uh, already these are the previous project. It is recognized. We don't want to any of this previous project and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to create it here. You can click on the new project. Okay, now this is a project. You can specify the what is the, the project type. I'm going to give it as a, this is a, I'll be saying it as a, uh, the month is what? Okay, I'll be saying it as a June. This is what I'll be giving it as a. This is my project name. I'm going to give it here. Okay, you can give any project name. I'll be I'll be creating it as a. This is a project name. And where is the location? Like now, you we can give the any location. So in my JIT, I'm going to create this. In the JIT folder, you keep it this project. We are going to say that here. Now it is asking me, what is the JDK you want to use it here? I have installed the JDK 20. I want to go with the JDK 20. Okay, this is a Maven project we are going to select it here. The build tool is we are going to select the Maven project. This is a Maven project I'm going to select it here. What is this Maven? I'll explain. So without knowing that here, just we are going to create a Maven project. I'm going to say that here. Add sample. If you want to generate the sample, you can give it here. Here we are going to say it as a arm dot the carrier uh, IT. Then here we are going to say it as a JSF Java full stack. We are going to select. 
we are going to select it as a my artifact id so whenever you are working in the projects the projects will have the one group id and one artifact id the group id is always reverse of the your domain name suppose if you are working for the infosys so infosys.com okay tcs.com or maybe the wipro.com or we may be working on the some xyz io the company name is xyz io so your your group id will be always a reverse of the your domain name so this is a group id and the jf this is a project name js jsf is a project name so this is what we would be using the group id and the artifact id we are going to use it here initially you will feel that no what is this group id what is artifact id don't worry we will be doing the day in and day out the, the most of the times we will be doing the, the project creations and the, like the multiple times you will be doing that here you will get familiar with that so here we are creating a one new maven project we are creating okay maven project when you when you're taking here my jdk version is the 20 we are saying here and here we are saying it as a uh, this is a career it and here jsf we are going to say that here and we are going to say that as a create this is going to create a one new brand new project in your ide it is going to create it here if you look at here this is a project there is a whenever you create a, any maven project this is a standard directory structure it will have it here what is this maven let me explain this here. when you take the maven maven is a build tool Maven is a build tool this maven okay the most widely used build tools in the java world is one is a maven another one is a grader this both are from the apache this both are from the apache when it comes to the maven the maven uses the something called the xml and so there is a groovy configuration the gradle configuration you will be doing here by using the groovy the groovy script you are going to use it here. now in the maven whatever you are going to create what are the configurations you will be doing there is a something called the form.xml file form.xml file this form stands for the project object model project project object model object model this is a form stands for the form.xml file you are going to take it here now why do we need this build tools is across the developers we should have the common understanding and the common directory structure it will have it here like the typically any maven project or gradle project this is what the first project this project will have the multiple things it will have it here there is something called the folder called the there is a folder called the the src main src main java src main resources src test java src test resources and then you will have the something called the form.xml okay this is a the standard directory structure is followed by the any maven project or gradle project maven project or gradle project it will have the this is the standard directory structure it will have it here so src test java src test resources and then you have something called the src main you have something called the src main then there is something called the form.xml file okay whenever you say that no i'm working on the we are working in we are using the maven or we are using the gradle the immediately any developer will know that here where to put the source code like now src main java this is a place where your source code you are going to type it here all your java files will be in this directory and the src main resources like now configuration files will be will be in the src main resources and what are the test cases you are going to write it here all your gain test cases you would be writing in you know all your gain test cases you will be writing in you know src test java and uh, the test the test configurations will be available in you know or uh, test configurations will be available in you know test resources then there is something called the form.xml file this is a project object model and this is a place where you are going to configure what are the dependencies are required like now what what like now what are the other third party libraries are required all these things you are going to configure in a form.xml file 
what jdk version you are using what is the uh, like no what are the dependencies what are the libraries i am depending on that so those all configurations will be done it in you no know, form.xml file whenever you say maven or a gradle project this is a standard directory structure for your maven or a gradle project why i am saying in the first class itself all these things is when you are going to work in a real time projects either you are going to use the maven or gradle you are not going to create a, any simple java projects will not create the first class itself we will get start with the what the industry is using the the standards we are going to follow that here yeah first uh, it, you, it may not uh, get you like no you know first attempt itself or you may feel that like no do i need to remember all these things no need not to remember guys like you need not to buy hurt any of these things so it will come out naturally like now we will be doing the multiple times you will be doing that here so try to get that like now what are the tools it's required i'm going to install and i'm i'm showing you that like now whether things are working or not we are we are setting up the dev environment we will discuss in detail about the each and everything in the upcoming classes we are going to discuss now whenever you take the maven or a gradle this is a standard directory structure that you will have it here now if you look at here src main java and src main resources src test java and here there is no folder like now we can add the uh, directory that we call it as a resources we are going to add the resources this is what src main java src uh, src test java and test resources there is something called the pom.xml file here we are saying that here hey my compiler version is a 20 and if there is any dependencies are required you would be adding the like this dependencies and what is the dependency you required you would be adding here but time being we don't have the any dependencies we are taking it as a simple project we are taking and this is a my group id this is a my artifact id this is what my version i am going to say that here in pom.xml file the moment you configure that it is going to take all these things here now here we are going to write a your source code now here i am going to create a new class before class i am going to create a package am dot okay this is a career id dot jsf dot a1 i am doing the day one example i am doing here i am creating a one folder name called the com and your company name your project name and your module name this is the conventions we are going to follow it here suppose if you are working a project let's take it as a cms is a your project now you are working for the organization name called the let's put it as a uh, the organization is the lwl so their website is lwl.com lwl.io now here you are working for the project name called the cms your package names will be typically it will be like this io.lwl. your project name cms. suppose if you are working on the module name called the user module user plus io dot lwl dot cms dot i am working on the admin module io dot lwl dot okay the cms dot you will be saying it as a there is a module name called the report so these are the multiple modules you would be having in your project so what is the common is this is the common so reverse of the your domain name and your uh, project name and your module name so here we don't have the the module name just you are going to take the day one so day one we are going to write it as a new class i am creating here this is the class name is i am going to say it as a hello world hello world i am going to create it here so then i want to write a main method i am going to write it here this is the main method i am writing here and here we are going to write the system dot out dot println we will be saying it as a welcome to java world welcome to java world we will be saying that now here when you are writing the java class this is what like the first one is a package name what is your package name my package name is this is a package name and do uh, you whenever you write any java program you have to write it you have to create a class inside the class you are going to write a main method my class name is hello world the naming conventions for this class name is the starting letter should be capital letter and if it is having the multiple words every letter should start with the, every word should start with the capital letter the preferred name is noun the class name is a preferred name is a noun so here we are taking the hello world and my my class name is hello world so when you are saving this program 
you should give the your public class name dot java you should give the public class name dot java what is my public class name hello world my program name should be hello world dot java we are going to give it here once you are done with that here we can run run hello world example i'm going to run it well this is working fine there is no problem suppose if i make the any compilation error immediately it is going to tell that here hey boss you made a compilation error it is it is highlighting here this is the main advantage of the ide like you are not switching between the multiple places so everything is integrated in one place just you are going to run and i am I'm, i'm going to see the output what is the output just it is printing the welcome to java so my ide is also working there is no problem the ide is working here now the next one is we need to do the setup of the git so i would ask you people to create a one github account how to create a github account uh, i can show you that can someone no volunteer that like no uh, at least to showing the creation of the github account uh, if you if you can share the your like no, if you if somebody says that no you are ready to share your screen i can make you volunteer and i'll i'll just show you that git and no how to install the git and how to create a github account uh, how to push the code into the github i'll show you the one project anyone can someone please volunteers that like now so that i'll make you presenter you can share the screen no one vasco ranusho anvita i have macbook and i already downloaded git and everything so okay you have github and everything is working yeah okay others anyone okay now no no issues now here you can uh, go to the windows and uh, like i'm i'm using the windows the 64 bit okay this is what i'm going to select it here 64 bit put in folder yeah you can install the the 64 uh, bit uh, the git we can install let's we'll see that here we we'll take a couple of minutes yeah just we are going to do this here okay then install we are going to say that here removing the previous version it is removing and it is installing that here installation uh, is a very simple straight forward there is much there is nothing much Yep, git installation has been completed now whether git is uh, installed or not you can you can type it in git bash you we'll get a git bash where you can uh, type the git i am going to take it here iphone version what is the git version we are using git minus v this is a version it is going to say that here i'm using this is our currently i'm using here now here uh, there is a uh, like now how we are going to push this code to the github 
just I'll show you that here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to create a one new directory. I'm going to create it here. MKDIR. MKDIR. Just we'll say that here. Story. Okay. My story. Okay. This is a folder I created here. My story. PD my story. I'm going here. Okay. Now here we are going to create a one story I created here. That story name is my folder name is my story. Now here we are going to create a copy con. Okay. So copy con we are going to say it as an index dot txt. I'm going to create the index dot txt. I'm going to say that here. Copy con. Or we can say it as a here. Uh, uh, Touch index.txt touch. I'm going to say it as a intro dot uh, intro introduction or txt. Okay, now if I look at here, I have it two files one is index.txt, another one is intro.txt. Now, what I want to do here is uh, now here we are going to notepad. I'm going to open with the index.txt. I'm going to open. So just you will be saying that as a this is a chapter one. Okay, chapter one. We will be saying it as a chapter one. And here the second one is we are going to say it as a uh, okay something we are going to say it as a story and we are going to say it as a like no so background something I'm saying here. Okay, this is what I added this some content I added here this content whatever I added here if I'm saying here uh, uh, like I want to maintain the this uh, this uh, versioning I want to maintain for the my files first step is we want to do the git init like you are going to initialize the git in your repository we are going to initialize and you can check the git status if I check this here first you did the git init Git init nothing but the it is going to initialize the what are the uh, like no uh, the Git related uh, to track the files what are the uh, things are required it is going to be initializing here. Now when I say that here Git status you are on the master branch no commit there is untracked files we have a index.html and the introduction introduction.txt these two files are there it is saying here now all I'm doing here is git add dot I'm going to add that here. I'm going to check the git status. Okay, two files are added, but you haven't committed that here. In order to commit that here, git commit minus m. I'll be saying that as a added uh, index and intro files. Okay, yes, I'm going to commit this here. So far, whatever you have done that here, it is a local uh, changes. Okay, that means. What are the things you are doing? It is there in your laptop. The changes will be there in the laptop. Suppose tomorrow if I'm coming and do one more file, I'm going to add it here. Patch, I'm going to say it as a, a story dot txt. I'm going to add it here. Okay. Now if I look at here, it status, it is going to say that here, hey, you added the new file, but I'm not I'm not going to track that here. Do you want me to track? So then you have to do this git add. I'm going to say that as a git add. And what is the file name? Story.txt. I'm going to add it here. Okay. Git status. If I check this here, you added this. I'm tracking this, but you haven't commit that here. Now I'm going to say it as a git commit. Git commit minus m. Minus m is a message you are going to write it here. Added. Added uh, story. Uh, just you will be saying that here with commit I'm going to say that here now here if you if you open this so uh, file in no uh, yeah if, if you look at here with logs with logs if you look at here you are going to get the log. you see here there is a like you no know, first commit I have done that here and it's first commit is this and the second commit is this now I want to make this so uh, uh, like now it is available in a remote and uh, like now the people can access or, or myself now tomorrow if I'm switching to the other laptop I can go and access the my source code. 
in order to do that here you you need to create a one github account we need to create a github account we need to create it here okay just you go to the github account github you can sign in or sign up for that i have already account you can uh, i'm going to log in with the my account java with the lwl this is my my username and you, you guys can register the one account now here i want to push my what are the the github what are the 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 directory i created here i want to push to the I want to push to the the cloud repository in order to do that here you are going to create a new repository i'll be naming it as a my iphone story i'm going to say that my story i'm saying here whether you want to make it as a public or private i can make it as a public there is nothing confidential if it is if it is a private you can make it as a private only you can access others cannot access now i'm going to create a repository once i create a repository hey you can create a new repository by using the command line like this but we have already repository just what we are doing here is we are following these steps hey you add this here if you are going to add the git remote you add this here then you are going to create a new branch called the main if you are going to create a new branch called the main we are going to create it here then here we are going to push your code okay you are going to push the code you are going to push it here you are going to push the code it may ask the credentials if the credentials are first time it will ask the credentials if your credentials are already given next time on which it won't ask the credentials now if you look at this here you go and refresh here to see here i have created this and this has got the main branch there is a my story and here we added the story.txt we don't have the any content okay index.txt there is a content and then we added the introduction.txt there is nothing just we are going to write a some small editing i am doing here i am going to edit this file in the enter the file content here it is saying that here okay i am going to write a something content i am going to write it here here i am going to take this some new content i am taking here I'm going to write a new content I'm writing here. Something we are going to write it here. This is the content I'm writing here. And here I'm committing this code. Commit with changes. And here we are going to say that here added uh, the story content. Story content I'm going to say that here. Commit. So somebody else is committed the 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 like no you, you just imagine that two users are working one user is yourself who you are committing from the local by using this here other user already committed that here suppose if I am opening here code dot visual studio code let me open this here you can see here index.html page you have a chapter one introduction you you don't have anything story if you look at the story we don't have any content even though that person like you know somebody is committed in the remote but you haven't got the latest code in order to get the latest code from the remote you would be using the git pull the moment i do the git pull you will get the latest code you can see that what is the source code you got it here okay when you are working in a team when you are working in a team now here you are going to add a some more things you are going to add it here now suppose if, if you are adding the some things java is a platform this 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 content you are going to add it here okay i added the, this is the content i added to my file when you add this content to here first you are going to check that here in the command prompt git status okay git status okay let me save this here i did not save this here now i am going to check the git status Okay, you add the some modifications you have done that here okay you have done the some modifications in order to add this you have to commit this here git, git add we are going to add the story.txt file and you are going to say that as a git commit minus m message what is the message added uh, uh, extra lines you are going to say that here 
Now I committed in my local. Please remember that I committed in local, but that will not be available in a remote. That that like you no know, the person who is looking at the remote, he cannot he cannot access that here. He, he cannot see that here. My story, if you look at here, in my story you added this something, so you added here, but it is not it is not there because we haven't pushed that. In order to push that, you will be using the git push. Now the code is going to be pushed to the that particular uh, repository. It is going to push that here. Now you can just refresh this here. You can see that. You can see the, this is the content. You can see that here. Like when you are working in a team, the the people are going to work on the uh, like you no know, multiple people will be working on the project. And uh, when they are working on the multiple people are working and multiple time zones if they are now when they are working whenever somebody makes some changes they are going to push the code and whenever you connect to the whenever you connect you log into the office the first thing is if you are going to code anything you need to get the latest code you need to get the latest code you need to get it here suppose you did not get the latest code let me explain this here okay um so java is a platform Platform and, and we are going to say it as a, a platform and do programming language. Okay, somebody added this and he committed this. Okay, let's we'll see that here. What happens? We did not get the latest code, and we what we did was like you no, know, we came today morning and last night somebody made modification. We did we, we did not worry about that without checking that. Just we adding here. Uh, Java learning Java is uh, Java is fun. Okay, just we added here. Java learning Java is fun, and you are trying to push the code. You are going to git add. You added here. Git commit minus m. Added uh, uh, Java fun statement. Statement we are going to say that here. And I'm going to do the git push. Here we'll get a problem. It is saying that here, git push, it was rejected because the same line is added, and at the same time we, we also added here. Git cannot decide that whether to keep the other person code or your code. Other person code or your code, it, it, it will not it will not understand that here. Like now, if you look at here. Okay, so it is going to say that here, here you have a conflict. Was other person is added the this is a line he added, and you added the learning Java is a fun. Which one to be keep? I don't know. It is saying that this we call it as a conflicts. The conflicts typically the way it happens is here. Two persons worked on the same file. Same file. And the same line they made modifications, but the the JIT cannot decide that uh, whose code has to be kept it here. In such a scenarios, we need to consult with the the other person who are committed that, and then you have to resolve the this conflict. I am going to say that accept uh, current changes, accept both the changes. I want to keep the both, and I am going to commit this here. Like now, one more commit, I am going to do that here. JIT. Let us. I'm going to check that here. Hit add. I'm going to add it here. Hit commit minus m. Resolved conflicts. Hit push. Now I'm doing here. We will not have the any problem. So now, if you go and look at this here, to refresh here, you will get the learning Java is a fun and. The Java is a platform and the programming language. So this is the way. In order to collaborate and you want to develop the the software where we would be using the the, the source code repositories and Git, we are going to use. But we will get more familiar with that. Just I am giving a introduction about the how we are going to install. Like now, the my intention is like now doing this setup for the JDK. And no IDE, JIT, and next one is a Maven. What is this Maven? Maven is a build tool. Maven is a build tool we discussed as we discussed. The Maven installation is a very simple. There is nothing uh, much. Okay. 
we need to download a one folder this is a place where you can download the the uh, the maven we are going to download suppose if you are using the uh, bin.gif this is a this is a file you download okay let me put this also so that next one is a maven maven you can download from Q. so just you download the this is what we are going to download the maven already i uh, have installed the maven we can see here MEN iPhone -E version. So it will tell that what is the Maven currently I'm using. It is going to tell the the version of the Maven. So it is using the 3.9.0. Uh, we will see that here. What is the okay? The current version is a 3.9.2. Okay, I'm going to up upgrade. Storing folder. This is what 3.9.2. You just do the extract. You just extract here and here we are going to get the three point nine point two. Where is this? Okay. Date modified. I want to get that here. Okay, here if I am looking at here. 3.9.2 you can copy this the extracted folder into the some directory i'm using the software okay maven is a this is a version i'm having here and the d drive if i'm going to the software 3.9 i have here apache maven what are the previous versions i am having i'm going to delete that here which is not required i'm going to paste this here 3.9.2 now, if I open the command prompt and if I execute that here, MD, it is it is going to say it as the MEN iPhone version. It should say that MEN is not recognized symbol because we have deleted that. Now, in order to add this Maven into the your uh, uh, operating system, you go to the environment variables, edit environment variables, environment variables. Okay, we are going to edit the environment variables. And here we have a something called the Maven home. Like no, let me edit system environment variables. I'm going to the system environment variables. You click on that environment variables. Here we have something called the Maven home. I can delete this here. In the path, if I'm opening here, uh, there is a Maven. Maven, Maven, Maven. Okay, Maven here we are having here. Just I'm going to delete that here. Okay, cool. So you may not get that two, two variables. First, you can you can open the, you can create a new. You will be saying it as a Maven underscore home, and you can paste this here path. Okay, this is the path my Maven home is available, and then there is something called the path variable, where you can edit. You paste that here. You add the bin directory. That's it. That's all. All the installation of the your Maven. Then click OK. Click OK. You can close this command prompt. You open the one more time command prompt. You can say here MEN iPhone version. This is going to tell you that what is the, the Maven version. It's a 3.9.2. Currently, it is running in the, like, no, it is installed in this directory. It is installed in this directory. It is installed here. Now, where this Maven is using for this, like, now, if we are going to be open in uh, Explorer, Suppose I want to compile this program. I want to build this project project. You can open the terminal where we are going to say that here MVN clean package. I can say that Maven, hey, you clean the project, then you you do the packaging. Okay. You do the packaging, the fail to execute the goal, the default project is error, invalid target target release is a 20. Okay uh plugin were uh, detected in a two plugin maven 3.10.1 okay good so the 20 is required the okay we will downgrade the jdk version so i'm going to downgrade jdk version to the 19 
because uh, my Maven is uh, not taking the, the latest version. It's not taking here. I'm just downgrading the my JDK version. I'm downgrading MEN clean package. I'm going to do that here. Okay, now it is built and it is created. The jar file it is going to be created here. Okay, I, I'll just I'll fix this later. Also, what is the problem? I'll just let me go through that here. What is the, there was a plugin validation issue were detected in the two plugins. They have found the two plugins. They have found maybe something. I need to change it in the plugins. So these are the the basic setup. As a Java developer, you need to do that here. The environment is ready. One is a JDK, IDE, JIT, Maven. These four uh, tools we are going to install first. Once you install, then we can get start with the, our actual learning. So any questions so far? Anyone has any questions? So you have you have added or downgraded the Maven version as 19 in the POM file, right? But in uh -huh. your local JDK, system, JDK yeah, version, in, I uh -huh. sorry, it, but in your local JDK version is 20. Is that okay if we given like this? Yeah. It is fine. Like, no, here we can do the, the basic setup, open module settings where you can you can select the this is a 19, it is going to take it. Here. Okay, okay, you can add the multiple versions, you can add it here. The, the lower versions can run it in a higher version. Higher version cannot run it in a lower version. Good. Uh, any other questions? And uh, when I'm trying to push local changes to the Git, it was uh, it was suggesting some commands and it's not working for me. Can you help me on it? Can you share the screen? What is your name? Uh, Tanvita. Yeah, go ahead. One second. Yeah, Git and all these things, like now we will be doing the multiple times. You'll get familiar with that. Don't worry, even uh, if you if you are not getting the 100% of what exactly we are doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, one second. Let me show. Oh, it's not showing. Not giving the option. Oh, one second, it was asking some permissions. Okay. When you give the permissions, it will ask you to restart. Can you give me the permission now? You are logged in as a with a yeah. Looks like it's not. Looks like it's not. No, no, no. I don't. It is not showing me the, any options because you quit the meeting. I made you as a presenter. Oh, OK, so only organizer can make the presenter. OK. <laughs> OK, we can look at it. Maybe. 
no i gave you permission even i don't have the permission to share <laughs> now okay. okay yeah okay let me ask them mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Like now, so more or less, uh, I covered what are the things I uh, intended to cover today. Uh, any questions? By the way, any questions? Others? Any questions? So today, what we have done? Just let me recap. Uh, let me recap what are, what are the things we we discussed. Okay. So we discussed about the as a full stack developer, like when you are learning the core Java, what are the things it's required? Just we we did the dev environment, we, we did that here, and we install the JDK, we install the IDE, Git, and Maven, and uh, how to install the JDK? We saw that here, and we wrote the command line application on a simple program we have written, and we compiled and we saw that output. And at the same time, we installed the IDE, we created a one project, that's a Maven project we created. And what is the Maven project directly structure? We, I explained about that. And what is a JIT? Just I give the uh, like you know, basic uh, introduction, I have, I have explained that here, how to install. And uh, like you, know, you guys can uh, register the GitHub account. And what are the project you created outside? Like you, know, you create a one folder with the four or five files, then you push that code to the GitHub. And you make the online changes and you get the latest code by using the these are the commands. No, we use the git init and git add. Okay, what is the file name? You made the modification. If you want to add all the things you are going to do that git add git commit minus m, like no message, we are going to write it here. And then we are doing the git push. We are going to push the code to the remote and git pull. You want to get the latest code from the remote repository, we'll be using that. These are the four commands we use very often. Git add, git commit, git push, and git pull. So try to play with this uh, by creating the one project. We created a Java project and we executed, uh, uh, like no, a simple example we executed. And you also create a one Maven project and try to do that creation of this project. And then what is this package name and significance of the package names you discussed? And how, how to install the Maven and how to check that Maven version. These are the things we discussed. And in tomorrow class, we will get started with the, our first Java uh, uh, session, we'll get started with that. What is a Java? What are the data types? And uh, how we are going to, uh, like, no, creating the Java uh, classes? And uh, what is the main method? I will be explaining the each and every thing. Thank you, guys. And uh, so the session will we'll start sharp at 6 o'clock, and we'll end by 7 o'clock. Oh, okay, so tomorrow is the same time, sir. I mean, it's going to be the same time, right? Yeah, it's going to be the same time. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.